Yes, good morning everyone. Here I am again, Mary Lou's love, um, sharing with you my love of cooking. So today I'll be baking the insaimada. Insaimada is the famous, one of the famous um, bread back home in the Philippines. But before that, I'll be sharing with you a word of God which we will find in John 4, 14. This is the fountain of blessings. The water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into his everlasting life. So, ano ang ibig sabihin nito? So, ang ibig lang sabihin nito is if we, as an individual, as a human being, we have the vital relationship and we have an intimate relationship with our father it will just generously flow the blessing will just generously flow out of us out of you as it has been given to you kasi once na ang blessing ng panginoon is all through i'm not saying that kung may mga problema tayo may mga sakit tayo sa buhay, may mga trials in life, those are also blessings. It is only upon us how we manage to to accept and how we trust Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Because if we have an intimate relationship with our Father, definitely we are going to just um, carry carry the burden or carry the trials or carry our problems lightly because he is the one carrying it for us so that's my word for today and hope you will continue to follow me and love my channel like Marilus love channel and subscribe so i'll be going now to my baking so ito na po yung aking ingredients so we need to have everything in in prepare para hindi po tayo maanuhan ng ating oras. I mean, everything must be prepared before doing such um, um, baking. So I have now my one cup warm milk. It's supposed to be, uh, it should be warm milk. My um, one half cup butter, two large egg, a, a one half teaspoon of salt, one, uh, four cups of bread flour, and I have one tablespoon of yeast, and I have my sugar as well, my one fourth cup sugar. So this is it. So these are just the basic ingredients for the insaimada. I didn't um, include yet the frosting because I will not be doing a frosting today. It's just merely the, um, the bread, okay? Okay, now the procedure will be like this. Combine warm butter, milk. So this is my warm butter. Combine it all together, butter, then the milk, so it should be warm, and then the egg. Oh. So we have two eggs, large eggs, and then we'll combine and mix it all together. Make sure that it's warm because the next that we need to combine here is our yeast. And then we'll leave it to rest for 15 minutes. So this is my yeast. After 15 minutes, I'm going to combine our sugar our salt, the dry ingredient, and our four cups of flour. Okay, this will be... We're going to mix it all together until we combine. Combine it together until we form a dough. Then when it mix it all together, you will be kneading this by the use of your hand. So after an hour, we check our dough. So and it's now 
raised up more than a double. So this will be rolled into lug and then cut it into half. So this is now cut into half and then I will cut into six pieces for this one. So this is now cut into six pieces each so we have 12. Yeah? And then we roll it into bowls. Okay, so I'll be kneading now my dough with my bare hand. So I just need to have an oil in your hand to put the oil so that you can knead this properly. Instead of using ubi, I will be using my apple jam. This is my apple jam where I made it the other day. I'll show it to you how I made it. So instead of the ubi, I will make this one. In each bowl, with the use of the rolling pin, into oblong, oblong shape. So and then we fill it up with our jam, apple jam. Seal it like that. And you put it down beside. Seal it down beside. And then another step. Next step is to oblong the um, oblong, make an oblong shape. Okay, and do the same as the other balls. Make sure it will not come out the filling yet. This is now the um, raised dough. So we're now putting it into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. Make sure that your oven is already preheated before putting this um, dough inside the oven. But before that, we will use this to brush, brush it with um, egg and milk.
important is to, to weigh your dough. Para, para, para. 